This is Mad Cards 2539, and this is the Card Finder tutorial. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this, but the way I'm going to be showing you is with the stripper deck. So you need a stripper deck. <clears throat> and stripper decks are really useful, even though every single trick is the exact same effect. But um, there are a lot of different tricks you can do with it, like um, different tricks, but with the same effect, because it's a stripper deck. So um, a stripper deck... As you can see, um, if you can see it, you can see that all the cards are straight, right? Except for this corner here. You can see it's a little bit off at an angle here. If I spread the cards up perfect on the camera, you can kind of see it. Right? You can see that this angle right here is a little bit off. So you can see that when you take a, a card in the middle of the deck and you flip it around the other way and you put it in the middle of the deck, since because of that angle, you can kind of see that the card is sticking out of the deck right here. If you, you, I don't think you can see that, but the card is sticking out so you can easily get to it and cut to it right there. Um, Alright, so now here's how you do the trick. Um, well you want to, if you're going to shuffle the cards, you want to make sure that you leave it the same way. So you could just go ahead and go like this and split the deck just like that and pick them up and shuffle like that. Because you don't want to shuffle the two halves the opposite directions and then you'll be all messed up with your stripper deck. So um, make sure you maintain that the whole time. So whenever you shuffle, here's what you have to do. Just set the deck down and then take the top half and cut it like that. And then you want to leave it just like that. So just put your hands right there and shuffle. Right? So it's exactly how it was, or all the cards are. The same way, alright? So, um, you want to have a spectator touch the back of any card. And then you just want to out jog it. Right? And then you can, um, twist it out and show it to them. Alright? And then after they memorize that card. You want to turn it around somehow. You can like spin quickly spin the card right there, and um, you can notice because you can because uh, the spectators don't know this because um, I'm telling you this because like because um, you know that there's a um, angle there, but the spectators don't know that, so they won't notice. So you just want to flip the card around to whenever you see the angles the opposite direction. You, I I can see the angles down here on this corner, and the angle on this card is up on the top corner, so I know it's right. So it's going to be the opposite direction. Alright, now you want to have them place it anywhere into the middle of the deck. And then you can see that um, no, matter, no matter how you square up the cards, that card will be sticking out because of the angle. Alright. So now you can cut like this, however you want. And then when you shuffle, if you want to shuffle, then you have to do it that way that I showed you earlier. Right. So all the cards maintain the same, same except for that one card. All right. Now here's how you um, do the last part to change their card, right? So you find where that card is, right? And you want to run your finger down. And once you get to that card, you want to grab, put, put your finger where that card is, and then pull down and cut right there. All right. So now that card's on top. All right. So let me show you that again. So you want to um, have the card squared, proof however you want to. Alright, and then run your finger down and cut right there to control it to the top. Alright, now what you do is you do a double lift. That's not their card. So now what you do is you just take the top card off and then it's already their card. So, yeah, that's how you do it.